G'day, this is Captain Australia. How are you doing? I hope you can hear me all right. Now, I have a lovely video to upload. At the hotel, the stream died, so we shifted to video because the service was a bit spotty and is still a bit spotty in Medalla. But thank you so much to the hotel and the bakery, by the way. Lovely businesses, lovely people. Um, I got invited up to talk after the band finished their set and I spoke about my quest and my mission to the lovely people there. Everybody was cheering and happy and welcoming of the, the, the story that I had to tell. And at the end, I started singing randomly, unrehearsed and unintended. So that's all captured in video and I'm gonna upload it for you later, as soon as I can get just a little bit of reception. But it was a lovely moment. And I would walk 500 miles. And I would walk 500 more. So it was really nice. Um, so I'm passing through Badella, way behind where I had intended to be. But I've just met some lovely people, and that's what it's all about at this point. The mood of the walk has just all completely changed. It's no longer about this long, solitary slog. Um, it's about the people and the places, you know. So anyway, I'm passing through Badola and it's getting close to 8 o'clock. I think it's 7.30 or so. So I don't have long before sunset. <laughs> so I need to get out of town and find a viable place to pitch camp. If I'd lingered, I could have kept socialising, drinking and stayed at the hotel. But I don't know. Tomorrow, the kids at the Naruma Primary School, I think, are expecting to see me whether it's morning tea time or lunch time, at an appropriate time in their day. So if I got all drunk and, you know, had a night of ease, I don't think I've quite earned it. So we need to knuckle down and push through. My mate Einstein, who's been sort of, sort of following since Aladala, he's back at the hotel, carousing. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm pressing forward. I don't know how far I'll get. I'm really just going to push until I find a viable place to pitch camp. And up ahead, it looks like pretty sharply after exiting exiting Badala here, um, we find some nice little bush. So I should be able to set up pretty easily. So I, I will chuck on my old man spectacles so I can respect and respond to your comments. And then answer them accordingly. Let's see. Todd says, you can do, I don't go flat out like a lizard, drink all in good time. Okay, well, I could have stayed and socialized, but you know, I just thought it was the right thing to just move on. Lovely people though, lovely place. I'm having a beer for you, mate, says Macca. You're always having a beer, Macca. You just needed, you know, what might be, you know, Elmo tomorrow. Bloody having a beer for me. Well, thank you, Mac. Um, Riddly dee, diddly dee. You are the best, says Amanda. Thank you. All good. Up to date with our comments. Oh, g'day. Sorry, were you after a word with me, were you? I will pop over and say hello. Hey, pup. Sorry, I'm just talking to people online. How are you? So, I'm Simon. Don't worry, mate. I'm just going to shake hands. What's your name? My name's Ray. Ray, pleased to meet you, Ray. And Sorry? Denise, pleased to meet you. Are you shy, Denise? I don't know. Okay, I'm pointing it at me, not at you. Okay, so you are totally off it. Um, yeah, sorry, you wanted to have a word. How are you doing? Have you got a place to stay tonight? I am marching down that way, and I was going to pitch camp in some bush down there. Yeah. You're quite welcome to stay at our place. Oh, that's lovely of you. Um, I think I still got a good 20 minutes or so of daylight. I think I might, I might just make a couple of Ks. I just, okay. I had a beer. I feel like I need to walk the beer off, you know. Let's get his dog training. Yeah, that's love. That's love. It's absolutely lovely of you. And this is, sorry, this is 100% not pointed at you. You're, you're completely, they might be able to hear you talking. I'm not sure, but you're otherwise completely, you know, invisible. Yeah. Um, no, thank you so much. That's such a kind offer too. But I think I really might just try to get a few more Ks down the road. Yeah. Um, Thank you for your lovely kindness. Thank you. Thank you oh, that's, oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you so much for your lovely kindness. Yeah. So I might, I might plow on while there's still a bit of daylight and talk to the people who need talking to. But lo lovely, I really appreciate you and thank you so much. That's such a lovely offer. 
but yeah, I just I'll get a few more Ks down the road. I think. Yeah. Ple uh, pleasure to meet you though. Che Bye. Take care of yourselves. Yeah. Bye. Cheers. So that's a lovely couple who just randomly pulled over and offered a place to stay. How beautiful is that? The old hobo. I guess people know that I'm pretty harmless. Todd says yes, mate. Answering something. Enjoying the rumor tomorrow. Yeah. Good on you thinking of the kids. Yeah. So I I I want to um. I want to like honor the the purpose of the walk too, though, which is me to have an ordeal. It is me to build myself up, and it's like well, strip myself back, repair myself, and then rebuild myself. So I don't want to, you know, take it easy. The best the the walk is meant to be an ordeal, you know. Um, so I do. If there's been such hospitality and kindness, it's really easy to fall into that. Go and have a sleep in a nice bed. Um, and I, I should never discourage kindness, and that's become a rule of the walk. But it's, I, it's okay to push forward and make a few Ks, I reckon. Seeing you on the way home from work, you were heading towards Turos, says Adamo. Cheers, mate. Maka, you're a bloody legend and we love you. You're doing great. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa, for your unrelenting kindness and your lovely support. I'm grateful, mate. I'm grateful to have met you that day. I think you are funny as hell, my friend. Safe travels, mate, says Adamo. Thank you. Todd Rooney, how did you go with the cords? Did you try to crimp them a bit and... Oh, you mean, sorry, my cables? That's all sorted. I bought two new ones, disposed of the old ones. So they've just taken a bit of water or a bit bendy, you know, a bit of damage during the walk. We've all had a bit of damage during the walk. You know, check that out. <laughs> Falling to pieces slowly. Um, so yeah, I just got completely new cables. Donna says, howdy, Cap, doing an awesome job. That's lovely of you, Donna. Thank you. Um, but yeah, this video, as soon as I can get 4G3 bars, I'll be able to upload this lovely video for you. And I, th I think it was just a magic moment. So the guy who runs the hotel there, what's his name? Rick? I think his name's Rick. Oh, I need to hear a name three times before it sinks in. Lovely man. It, it was a surprise birthday party for him. But everybody was so welcoming and interested in what I was doing. They, they, they get me in. They get me to speak in between the band songs. And uh, yeah, just had a lovely moment. And I just spoke straight from the heart. You know, I don't even remember exactly what I said. I think I called everybody beautiful. <laughs> and they were, you know, they were shining. And then I sang. <laughs> oh dear. I haven't watched the video, I wanna share it with you. So as soon as I get a bit of reception, I'll do that. The stream's going okay, so maybe the reception is okay too. Anyway, pressing forward, and because I got my magic, that bad boy, I'm not so freaked out about pitching camp in the dark. Um, it's not good to walk along the road in the dark, but again, this probably makes me more visible as well. I've got a high-vis Captain Australia uniform, but I very seldom wear the buggedly thing because I, like, I do like to set camp by dark time. Okay, let's cross over. So we're walking towards oncoming traffic which is a good general rule. And I'll press forward for half an hour, find a nice bit of scrub, pitch a camp, and then press into Naruma tomorrow. That is the plan. Why am I doing this? Complete and total midlife crisis mental breakdown. <laughs> and it's to, it's to rebuild myself after a horrible fight with stage four cancer. And it's working. I just, I had no hope in my life, but I created hope around the idea that a pilgrimage would save me. A big walk, I'd be able to fix myself. And it worked. And it was amplified when I realized I should do it in service of a lovely charity called the Kids Cancer Project. So that's why we're here now. It's a charity for children, sick children. Um, and, and whose life hasn't been touched by cancer? Because here's the thing about pediatric cancer research. You solve one cancer, you start to understand them all. Like we as a species, as a civilization, we need to invest more in science, you know? understand the human genome, understand the way immunology really works. You know, the way that we as human beings have, like, there's this concept called the, sorry, I'm going to go an old man ramble. There's this concept called the placebo effect, which everybody will know about. Instantly you'll know the word. And what you'll think it means is like fake medicine, right? But what the placebo effect is, if you have two groups of 100 people, right, 100 people in each group, and they're all suffering from the same disease. Group A are given the medicine, right? 
and uh, and they get better. But group B are given nothing except the placebo, right? And what the science shows is that, I, I don't know the percentage, the math of it, but a percentage of people given a placebo, this fake medicine, heal. And it's their belief in the medicine that heals them. It's hope that heals them. Hope. Oh, get eh? Sorry, I'm having an old man ramble on the internet. Um, are you a shy person? Not shy? Look who I'm meeting then. Hey! Hello, buddy. What's your name? Do you know how to fist bump? Pow. What a joy to meet you, buddy. Did you say Kai, did you? That's awesome. And your name, mate? I'm Clint. Sorry, we're talking to all the people on oh, Facebook. Really hey, Clint, how you This is my mate, Clint. Pleased to meet yeah, you. you too, mate. And your uh, partner's name was? That's Jess. That's Jess, yeah. Oh, well, lovely. I'm just going off down there on to find way, a place yeah. in the bush to camp and yeah, well, then well. head on to Narooma. Yeah, so you've caught me in the middle of a bit of an old man ramble oh, about how oh, hope right. is healing. Oh, Kai. Oh, mate, let's have a look at this. Freddo's, oh, a fruit drink, a pop top, oh, mate, and look at this gorgeous family, look at that, look at this lovely, lovely family, mate, Kai, thank you so much, can you give me a little hand, yep, look, what we'll do, we'll take this, can you give me a little handshake there, my friend, you are, you are, flat strap bloody awesome, mate, thank you so much. When I get down to a place to camp, I'm going to gobble these down and drink this down and it's going to help me have a good sleep tonight, mate. So thank you so much. How about another one of these fist bumps? And I'll bring this to anything. And a Nice, mate. You are a lovely young man. Thank you so much. Oh, can I show your shirt? That's George on Peppa Pig, isn't it? You know what that says? Future hero. Are you going to be a future hero, my friend? Yeah, good on yep. you. <laughs> Bloody lovely. Good job, uh, mate. Pleasure yeah. to meet you. Thanks so much oh, for that, no, that warmth. That is, that is awesome. We lovely. We've been waiting for you for about an hour. Have you? Oh, so you saw I was, I was at the <laughs> pub up there. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I had a moment there. I was singing, and I would walk 500 miles. I haven't been able to upload it yet because there's no service. Oh, yes, Joy. Yes, mate. Too far away. Sorry, sweetie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I'm sorry that you had to wait, and it's a delight to meet you all. Well, this is a first aid kit. This is my special Captain Australia hat. It's a bit pongy, but it's handy. In here, I've got all. Oh, check this out. If you are pongy, I've got a spray for anti pong. <laughs> that thing on my back is a backpack that has in it. It has food and a hammock for sleeping in, and a tarp for stopping rain. And check this out. This is, let's show the people. Whoops. This is a canteen. Have you seen a canteen before? Yeah. Check this out. This holds one liter of water. You want to see if you're strong enough? Is that heavy? Yeah. That's pretty heavy. Oh, look how strong you are, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is really cool, my friend. So I will take that back because I'm going to need to drink that. But it's pretty heavy, isn't it? How did you get to be so strong? Do you eat all your wheat bix? <laughs> yeah. That's all my papers. Hmm? That's all my papers. Yeah? yeah? Well, mate, I, I'm really pleased to meet you. It is my pleasure to meet you. Let me... You whoops. Up, you? You to to trying to... Yeah. Put, no. you well, I am, I am so lucky and grateful <laughs> for that. Yeah. That's my name. Yeah. yeah, my name is also Simon, but I also call myself Captain Australia. And... Here I am filming the grass, now I'm filming you. What's going on? I'm the world's worst cameraman is what I am. Can't do two things at once, trying to put my canteen back in with one hand. There we go, look at that, clip it in. Now it's secure. So, look at this gorgeous family that I just met. How lovely is that? How nourishing? Let me, let me get you in the background there so we don't have a photo because we're streaming, but that's even better. Lovely. Uh, thank you for waiting up to say hello. Like, what a joy, thank you so much, yeah. So I'm off to Melbourne. Right. Do you know where Melbourne is? Yeah. Shake his hand. Bye bye, mate. Yeah, let that bring that bring that in, big boy. Yeah. How about a high five? Pow! Oh! Oh my God! You do it, you.
Okay. Pow! Oh, man! Holy moly, you got all your dad's muscles, didn't you, I reckon? Pleasure to meet you all. Cheers. Thanks, and thanks so much, buddy, for these. See you later, my fine little friend. Absolute pleasure, buddy. You take care of yourself. See you later. Okay. Well, that was lovely. Um, and where was I? I was talking about hope, like the placebo effect. That's right. So the people who ha are not given medicine at all heal through some kind of internal mechanism that we don't fully understand. The medical profession understand it, but don't talk about it much because as soon as you start to question magic, it doesn't work anymore. Um, comment. Captain, stop across the road from Cricket Field and make sure Dave's got a coldie for you. I don't know where the cricket field is, Macca. I'm just gonna...